Hi guys, how are you? How are you doing? I'm so happy to see you here again in my channel and if you're new, you're welcome. So today I'm going to show you an apartment where do I live with my husband and our two pets. We have a cat and a dog and it will be kind of vlog style because I don't want to sit straight in front of the camera and talk to you. I want to move through the apartment and to show you all the space, to show you our rooms, what do we have, how do we live, so all this basic stuff and I hope it will be interesting for you. So let's go! So a bit of information before we will start uh, the apartment tour. I need to tell you that we live in Moscow and it's not a typical city of our country. So you know, Moscow is the capital of Russia and it's a megapolis. We have millions of people living here and the life in this city is pretty different from the others that are smaller. If you hear the sounds, it's our neighbors. Thanks a lot. We live in Moscow in not a fancy district, but I love it. It's pretty quiet and green, you know, and we have all the things what we need in here. So our building was built in 1969 and called Brezhnevka by Leonid Brezhnev, who ruled the country when it was Soviet Union. And most of the walls in our apartment are load bearing, so we can't do the redevelopment and we can't to make our rooms wider or to combine for instance our kitchen area with living area so there are more cons than pros <laughs> here long story short let's dive in every area in our apartment and i will show you how do we live here Okay, let's start from the hall and you can see my reflection, say hi, <laughs> uh, on the entrance door. So, uh, you hear the noise and it's our neighbors and as you hear it, let's start not from this area but move to the kitchen. This is our entrance and if you turn right, there will see the tiny hall, two doors, one to the bathroom and another one to the toilet. So the kitchen is pretty small and the noise that you might hear is from our neighbors because our walls in this apartment are pretty thin and we can listen to our neighbors day and night how they're screaming, we can hear their pets, their children. It's pretty noisy and it's annoying me. I need to film from the corridor because our kitchen is pretty small, it's only 5.8 square meters and it's really, really small for our apartment. It's an old building and the layout has more cons than pros. Okay, we live on the 8th floor of the 9th story building and we have a pretty good view out of our windows. Also, you can mention that we don't have a dining table because our kitchen is small, as I said before. And I bought an IKEA chest of drawers from the bedroom area. I made here some kind of a coffee station or breakfast area, as I called it. We have a kettle here, we have a coffee machine and uh, some of our favorite mugs. You can see that now we have a festive mugs for Christmas time, some from H&M home, some from local stores, because it's Christmas, <laughs> it merry and bright and best Christmas ever. I'm in the Christmas mood already, okay. Here we have uh, this chest of drawers from the IKEA and I placed here some coffee stuff, maybe some cookies, some seasonings. On the second drawer we have some stuff like flour, noodles, uh, maybe some cereals for coffee, some sweets, again cookies uh, and uh, oatmeal, like stuff for our lunch and dinner. And the last drawer is for baking stuff. We have some baking trays for muffins or for breakfast. And our 
coffee, tumblers, water bottles, again some flour, some sugar and this kind of stuff. Here we have a water bottle with uh, fresh water for drinking or for making tea or coffee because I don't have a special faucet on my sink so we have a separate bottles. I bought a little stool from my IKEA store and put it on the stool. And under it we have a dining area for our dog and her cat. They have two bowls. Say hi! This is Ozzy. It's one of our pets. It's our cat. He will be 10 years old this December. So what you think? Do you like our apartment? Do you like it? Do you like it? Oh yes, you like it. Yes, you like it. I don't know why, but we have a wallpapers in the kitchen and I don't like it at all. And I can't explain why I chose these ones when we made the renovation here six years ago. I don't like it for now and I don't like our kitchen. I'd prefer to change all things here except this chest of drawers or maybe some stuff. But. Our dog <laughs> made a little renovation here in this corner because I think he wanted to change the kitchen too and he made this renovation stuff for us, so thank you! <laughs> Alright, let's move on. So this is the main area of our kitchen and as you see again it's pretty small. We have only two chests of drawers. Uh, the third one is for our trash can. There we have our gas stove and you can see the gas tubes because we live in an old building which was built in 1969 and there we have a gas. In the modern buildings people have only electricity. To be honest, I hate these tubes. They are annoying and I'd prefer to live in a building without them. I really try not to clutter our space in the kitchen because it's really small and I don't like cluttered spaces. So we have our oils for cooking, our... <laughs> I don't know why, but we have a potatoes in the pocket. Then we have a salt and pepper and fake plant and this thing, I don't know how to call it, for drying dishes. So we have a microwave and above it we have a cabinet where I store only mugs and I think I need to declutter because <laughs> it's too much. So what's next? We have a cutting board in here and in the next cabinet we have our dishes and to be honest this is all what we have. The only area where we cook is this one. As you can see, it's again small, only one square <laughs> for cooking or maybe this tiny part of it. Under it we have a drawer with some cutlery and it's always a mess. I try to clean it out, but you see, it's a mess. I need to clean it again. The second drawer is with some random stuff like zip bags by IKEA, some trash bags. There I store our frying pans, our biggest bowls for a salad, and this is the only things that I have. Not too much, I can say. The upper drawer in the smallest cabinet in the kitchen keeps our Tupperware in this and in this area I keep our kitchen towels, our dog food and here we have... You know, after six years living in this great kitchen, I can say that in the future when we will make a renovation here or maybe in some other space where we will live, I will not do in the same color of the kitchen. I want only white and it's a game changer, really. I'm happy to say that this year we changed our gas stove because we had an oldest one. I can say that this gas stove is worth a splurge. And let's move to another spaces in our apartment. You can see my dog. It's a one-year-old dog called Spock. It's a Shiba Inu. And he says hi. Hi, sweetie. 
Are you sleeping here? I don't know how actually I will show you all this space because it's pretty small again. In this type of apartments, we have a separate toilet and bathroom. So let's begin with the toilet. It's really small and I don't like it. You can mention this. And this is a renovation stuff because all the renovation in our apartment were made by ourselves with my husband except the kitchen and except uh, the interior of toilet and the bathroom there's no interesting things in the toilet so let's move to the bathroom it's again small we have a washing machine in our apartments it's a must-have all our families have washing machines and again this is a new family member in our apartment we bought it one month ago by Beko uh, it's a Turkish brand I think and now we're gas stove again from the Beko hi <laughs> it's me in the mirror you can see the bathroom is really really small there we have a bath this shower gels this renovation stuff and the only thing that we have in our bathroom it's this thing from Ikea, a mirror with some shelves inside. We have a bath towels by H&M Home, the bathrobe from H&M Home too, and this brush for dry massage by the body shop. There was a sink. We removed it one month ago. Uh, in the same time when we bought a new washing machine because it's pretty high and our previous washing machine was a little bit lower. For instance, this level and the sink was above the washing machine but we thought that we don't need it and we have a hand soap and we have the faucet in here and can wash our hands above the bath so we don't know how to remove these two things without any special tools by ourselves and that's it maybe we can make some shelf and put some candles or maybe some another stuff in here but i don't know nothing interesting in the bathroom at all so let's move to another space okay leaving the bathroom we return to the entrance area and this is the entrance door when you turn to the right you can see our hall and then the living room one random room and the bedroom on the left so a few words about our layout in the apartment i can't say that i love it because it's more constant pros in here most of the walls are load bearing and we can't make a redevelopment as i said before you know the rooms in the living area are okay but too narrow and for instance in a bedroom it looks like the bed takes up all the space now you can hear a noise again but by our neighbors this was the noise of our elevator and our walls in our apartment are pretty thin so you can hear all the noise from neighbors literally this is our neighbor opening their door pretty annoying so in the entrance area we have some hooks carrying our leashes for a dog okay there we have the huge mirror from ikea all the furniture in our apartment is from ikea i love it so much and this is the best way to furnish your apartment in russia because it's really cheap and it's affordable okay let's move on i know that in the us for instance you name your apartments by the quantity of your bedrooms but in russia we name it by the quantity of our rooms in living area we live in a three rooms apartment you will call it a two bedroom apartment because we actually have two bedrooms and one living room but in russia as i said before we count all living rooms our apartment is 58 square meters and we have three rooms in the living area and this is the most biggest room in our apartment it's a living room let's move on with this space so this is our living room it's 16 square meters as i can remember and it has different zones for me and for our guests as i said we have a couch and a little table in here because it's sitting area right in front of the tv set in front of our couch we have a tv and a chest of drawers by ikea again 
This is a new guy in our apartment because we bought it one week before uh, and I dreamed about this chest of drawers. It's mal and we store here our linen, some dog stuff, some random stuff, uh, maybe some stuff for selling and I love it so much. Look how beautiful it is. It's in a Christmas mood again because who cares? It's the end of November or maybe when you watch it, it's the 1st of December, who knows? But I pretty love this area. And again, Mr. Cat sitting here and thinking about his life with us. Do you love us or not? Moving on, we have my working space. In my opinion, it's the most beautiful space in our apartment and I'm totally in love with it. The most stuff, again, by IKEA like this round chair, like this mount table. Oh, it's pretty old. The mount table I bought seven years ago, six or seven years, I think. We have a round mirror. This is not from Ikea, this is from Leroy Merlin and the mirror is by some Russian manufacturing. Here we can see the mirror tray by Zara Home, my favorite perfume by Jo Malone, some candles, some hard perfume, some crystals that make me quiet and again fake flowers. I like fa fake flowers. And my favorite one is my MacBook Pro, my Logitech Pebble Mouse, some candles. Oh, these candle holders are from H&M Home and I'm in love with them. And moving to the left, we can see the another chest of drawers by IKEA. It's a Kallax or Kallax chest of drawers. I'm in love with it. So I'm kidding that I have uh, like a beauty store. <laughs> and this all is from the advent calendars from this year. So I'm a little happy girl <laughs> having this bunch of stuff. And again, this uh, is a type of living area with no dining table. I know that it looks strange, but we haven't a dining table. There I have my old advent calendar box from the previous year and my beloved one, Marshall. The last cabinet in this room is for storing our glasses and some candles and Christmas stuff again. This picture was painted by my old friend and I keep it for years and I will keep it forever because I love the colors and it's uh, pretty cool. Okay, uh, this cabinet keeps all our glass stuff. I'm in love with this IKEA glasses. It's for champagne and it called like coupe glasses. We have some glasses from IKEA, IKEA again, and from Villeroy and Bach. Buying glasses I love so much. Another interesting thing, I have a bag of bags and I think that most of you have the same one in your apartment somewhere. There we have some Christmas stuff and if you will be interested, I will show you how I will decorate the apartment for Christmas. If you want to see it, press the like button or leave the comments below. So I think that's all what I can say about our living room, about living area. But there is only one fun fact about ceiling. I know that most of people have just regular ceilings and paint it with white color, and that's all. We make stretch ceilings. The stretch ceilings are made of elastic stretch material, which hangs on a fastings around the perimeter of a room. And the pros of this type of ceiling is that we can hide all the wires inside of it. And I think that the stretch ceilings are more cheaper than the regular ones. I don't know why really, but we have what do we have. Another fact about Russian apartments is about voltage and sockets. So we have a 220 volts in our sockets. We have a European type of sockets and in the US I know you have 110 volts in yours. And sometimes it's not so convenient because when you want to travel or move to another country and you have some electric tools with you with uh, the voltage for our country for instance 220 volts you can't use it in the another country like in the us 
because the voltage is different and I prefer to use items with the wide diapason of voltage. For example, the iPhone charger has the diapason from 110 to 240 or 250, I can't remember right, but it's pretty convenient. And I prefer to buy tools with this wide diapason of voltage. Okay, as I said before, we live in a three-room apartment, it's like a two-bedroom apartment, and this was a living area room, which you guys are not counting. Let's move to the first bedroom we have, and again you can see my dog sleeping on the couch. Oh, you sweet little guy, you're sleeping here, I love you, how are you, my sweetie? Oh, sleep well. I didn't mention that all the renovation you see in this apartment we made by ourselves with my husband. We painted the walls, we made the floors, we made everything except ceilings because you need a professional to make it. And ta-da! This is the second room that I love in our apartment after living area. This is our bedroom and look at this gorgeous color on the wall. I dream to have such a gorgeous color on one of my walls so one little fact all the wall colors are pretty fresh because we painted them one or two months ago with my husband and the theme in our bedroom is plenty it's very fresh and green and i have a green manicure as you can see so our bedroom is not pretty small but it's long again and as i mentioned before the bed looks really big so you have a little tiny space to walk near this bed and it's not as convenient as i'd want it to we have a little wardrobe or closet here which stores all of our clothes in it and for now i think that it's really small we don't have too much stuff in it but it's really small but i love it we have a bed from ikea and two nightstands from ikea again it's malm collection the same as our as our chest of drawers in the living area and this stool we have some posters with banana leaves on the wall and this pretty stuff above our bed I love it so much, it's handmade. And this area is for my husband, he likes gaming and this is his gaming chair, gaming area. And here you can see a door for our balcony, but we have no renovation in it, so it's pretty nasty. Some random stuff on the floor, some old plant pots, some sports stuff. And you see that it needs a renovation as soon as possible, but you know what? We don't want to do it because we are not planning to live here for years and we want to move to another country or maybe just to another building in our city. We have windows on the two sides of our apartment, so the windows in this side are looking to the kindergarten and this window from the balcony have a view to our playground and to another building. Another important fact about our apartment, all what you see in here, it looks pretty fancy. And you need to know that we made it by ourselves and you don't need to be rich to buy some stuff like this. Because I use the cheap local stores, like you have a dollar store maybe to buy this stuff like candles or maybe these decorations or maybe some christmas ornaments and this kind of stuff you don't need to be rich for doing this and all the furniture from ikea is pretty cheap and pretty affordable for any type of apartment but you need to know that most of our apartments in russia looks like this and this and this, they look like an old grandma's apartments from the Soviet Union. And I can't understand why people spend their money, maybe traveling or some fancy clothes, but they can't do a renovation in their apartments because it's really simple. You can do it by yourself. We painted these walls by ourselves with my husband 
and it was really cool. Just remember, you can do all this stuff by yourself. Just try. And let's move to the third room. It's the last area in our apartment and it's not a usual type of room that we have because most of families use their rooms for kids or maybe for guest rooms but we have no kids we have only cat and dog and the two of us and this room is our storage room as i call it main thing in this storage room you can see this kind of stuff from ikea again these shelves it's pretty cheap and affordable and useful for us i know that in the us you have some pantries or storage rooms, but we don't. So that's why I need these shelves to keep all the backups for our daily basis, like kitchen towels, paper towels, or toilet paper, these random boxes. And this stuff is for Christmas. These are all presents for my friends. I think you know what it is. I ordered it from the US because I love this brand and these fruit snacks. Love, love, love it. Some kind of stuff for my dog and cat, like Grandine. Oh, it's a dog beer. <laughs> okay, some stuff for a washing machine, like conditioner, and some stuff from renovation. And these jars are with a wall paint in each color we have. And these giant bags is with Fermina dog food, because this is the best brand ever. I know. So as you can see, this room is pretty dark and we have these curtains day and night, but it's really dark. It's not so dark only because of the color of the walls. I know that it will be darker here because, and this was the main reason I made this color, but we always have darkness in our apartments in Russia because most of months in the year we have a bad weather okay we have a storage space decorated with christmas lights because i love christmas most of all we don't have dry machines only washing machines in our apartment so we dry clothes in this kind of stuff i don't know how to call it uh, we have a mop some stuff from my husband's work and the vacuum cleaner and this is the cage for our dog. We used it when he was a puppy, but now we don't need it. We have some backups of water bottles for our kitchen, and that's all. This is the whole room with our storage area, and I love it so much because of this color. Now you see the whole apartment. So, little summary of this room tour. It's noisy, because now you can hear again the noise but it's not from our neighbors it's from the outside but all the windows are closed in our apartment so it's really noisy and i hate it we have a bad quality of windows and i know that we need to change it but it's really expensive and we don't have so much money for it but i really hope that you like this video and i will be really happy if you subscribe to my channel press the like button if you have some questions just write me in the comment section below and i will be happy to answer to you thank you for watching see you later bye